One Punch Man premiered way back in October of 2015, so if you have not had a chance to read the manga or rewatch the show since then, you may have forgotten some of the finer details of Saitama's adventure. Instead of frantically binging the show or going into Season 2 without a primer, let us get you caught up on the events of One Punch Man Season 1 in just five minutes. The series opens on an ordinary day in a peaceful city that is immediately spoiled by the sudden arrival of a violent monster. The monster wreaks havoc on the city, proving to be too great a match for the heroes who have rushed over to fight it. That is, until the arrival of a bald, skinny, disinterested man proceeds to obliterate the monster in a single punch. Dismayed and angry at his own strength, the hero curses himself for being so darn powerful. <laughs> the hero is called Saitama, a self-proclaimed hero for fun, who lives in a tiny apartment and yearns for a decent challenge. His hero journey began defending a young boy from a ridiculous crab monster, then proceeded to take down larger, more dangerous foes with a single punch. But Saitama is not on this adventure alone. One dull day as Saitama faces up against a single tiny mosquito, new character Genos fights with the mosquito's mother. Genos is a young cyborg who fights for justice and is hunting down a fellow cyborg that killed his family. Before Genos self-destructs in an attempt to wipe out the swarm, he's saved by, you guessed it, one punch from Saitama. <laughs> It was more of a swat, though, because, you know, she's a mosquito. Grateful to our hero for saving his life, Genos asks Saitama to take him under his wing as his disciple. After teaming up to take down the Frankenstein-esque Dr. Genis and his monster, Saitama reveals the training regime that led to his insane and unstoppable strength. A hundred push-ups, a hundred sit-ups, a hundred squats, and a 10-kilometer run every single day. Yep, that's it. None of the other characters can believe it either. The next absurd character we meet is Speedo Sound Sonic, a ninja bodyguard for hire who goes up against Saitama, only to be daunted by, not his strength this time, but his speed. Unable to defeat Saitama, Sonic vows to train hard until he can best the man whom he now calls a rival. In true Saitama style, however, he couldn't care less. Oh. He does care, however, about the general public mistaking him for a monster and crediting his heroic achievements to the good-spirited hero Moomin Rider. Upon realizing no one knows who he is, nor does the general public know about his heroic feats, Saitama falls into a little bit of a slump. Genos quickly pulls him out by suggesting Saitama sign up for the Hero Registry. Saitama then entices Genos to go through the exam with him by offering to officially accept the cyborg as his disciple. Saitama expectedly and literally crushes the physical tests, but through his own laziness, Saitama is awarded a C ranking, while Genos lands right at the top in S rank. C rank heroes are the bottom rung, a group made up of silly but courageous go getters, while the S rank heroes are truly super. Superpowered beings. After the exam, Genos asks Saitama to spar, and of course, his master wins. Reinforcing Genos' pledge to himself to learn everything he can from the super OP Saitama. The Hero Association is overflowing with unique and ridiculous heroes, including the C rank brothers, Tank Top Tiger, and Take Top Black Hole, and the A rank, Spring Mustachio, and Golden Balls, all of whom begin to show their faces and take down the growing number of monsters appearing across cities A through Z. But when something far greater than a monster threatens the safety of City Z, the S rank heroes all band together to attempt to take down an approaching meteor. When all of their attempts fail, it's all up to Saitama to obliterate the meteor with one, well, you know. Soon after the greatest foe Saitama has yet to face, the speedo-clad Deep Sea King makes his way to shore, taking out any heroes who get in his way, wanting only to slaughter every last human. He ravages City J until a gloriously animated battle ensues between him and Genos. Genos is not quite up for the challenge, so Saitama does what Saitama does best. This impressive win bumps Saitama up to rank B in the Hero Association. During a meeting of the S rank heroes and Saitama, a prediction from the great seer Madame Shababawa is discussed. A great cataclysm, bigger than any other, will soon threaten the world. 
as if on cue, an alien spaceship arrives. After destroying City A, the invasion of the alien pirates known as Dark Matter really gets underway. All of the S-Rank heroes band together to halt the invasion. These S-Rankers include the martial arts master, Silver Fang, and the psychic esper, Tornado, both of whom will play a key role in the upcoming season two. Meanwhile, Saitama hops onto their spaceship and confronts their leader, the mighty Lord Boros. Monologuing a backstory that sounds oddly familiar to Saitama's, Boros explains that he's been searching for the fighter whom he can face as his true equal. Is Boros actually a threat to Saitama? It seems so at first, until it's revealed that our hero has been pulling his punches this whole time. After the battle is over, the Hero Association works together to recover City A and build a new headquarters, but there are always more monsters and greater challenges to come in Season 2. Are you excited for Season 2? Tell us in the comments section. And don't forget to check out our videos on why the animation for Season 2 of One Punch Man looks different, and our breakdown of what to expect in Season 2 of One Punch Man. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.